Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. <coughs> we are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our day number 14. Day number 14. Let's put the problem on the blackboard. I need to place. Yesterday we learned this word axiomatic and I asked people, I asked you yesterday to look it up and learn it properly. I hope you did that. Day number 38, that's what the 38 means. Just type in Kishwani Prep dash vocab dash dash day 38 and learn the word axiomatic. It means something that is true by definition. It comes from the word axiom. But here's the problem for today. This we are told is 120 degrees. This we are told is 30 degrees. This is 40 degrees. And the question simply is, how much is this angle B? Where does this B come from? I don't know. Why B? Well, that's what they're calling it, B. How much is B? I want you to pause the video and do the problem yourself. And once you have the answer, you can resume it. 50. 55, 60, 65, 70. Well, that makes your life simple. I'm going to redraw this picture one more time. I'm going to redraw it. So we have a large triangle, and inside the large triangle, we have a small triangle. We are told that this is 120 degrees. This is 30 degrees. This is 40 degrees. And this is what they're calling angle B. And the question simply is, how much is B? How much is B? As I said, pause the video, do whatever you have to do, and once you have the answer, you can resume it. I'll give you a couple of seconds to pause and then pause. So, if you're sitting there asking yourself, well, how can we figure out B? We know nothing about this angle and that angle. Yes, that is true. We know nothing about this angle and that angle, but we do know something about two of them together. Look at the small triangle there, small triangle here, this triangle here. We know that this is 120. Let's call this X and Y. Even though we do know not, even though we know nothing about x and y individually, what can you tell me about x plus y plus 120? Well, x plus y plus 120 in this small triangle there must equal 180. Because we know that sum of the angles in a triangle equals 180. Therefore, x plus y plus 120 must equal 180 in triangle ABC, let's call it ABC, A, B, C. Therefore, X plus Y must equal 60 in the triangle ABC. So even though we know nothing about X and Y individually, we do know for a fact that whatever they are, they must add up to 60 degrees. X and Y must add up to 60 degrees because this six, these two together, 60 degrees plus 140 will make it 180. We can use that information now. The question is how much is Y, how much is B? Well, now look at the triangle. Now, look at triangle A, A, D, B, A, A, D, C. 
A D C in the large triangle A D C the large triangle. In the large triangle, in the large triangle, we know that x plus y is sixty. So here thirty plus the x, which is this angle here, this this side here, this angle plus the plus the rest of it. 40 plus y, 40 plus y, plus this b must equal 180. But we already know what x plus y is. x plus y is 60 right here. So 30 plus, 30 plus 40 is 70, plus, plus x plus a y plus a b must equal 180. But we know that x plus y is 60, so we can replace that. 70 x plus y which is 60 plus a b equals 180. We can solve for b very easily. Subtract 60 from both sides so this becomes 120 and then subtract 70 from each side so that becomes 50. There we go. b must be 50. Voila. That's it. First I subtracted 60 from both sides. When you subtract 60 from both sides 180 becomes 120 and then I subtracted 70 from both sides and then it became 50. That's it, there is the answer. Answer is B, 50 degrees. That's all I have for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 15. And we'll go from there. If you wish to get hold of me in the meantime, for personal private tutoring, either face to face or over the internet via Skype, go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and get hold of me from there. Alright, thanks.